Alright, in this video we'll discuss securing uh, your endotracheal tube. I'm going to go over a couple of different ways to tape it and then we'll utilize the commercial tube holder as well. So again, you're going to make sure that you hold on to it, and but I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, explaining. So, and this is a mannequin, so it's not going anywhere. But I do want to go over how to appropriately tape it in the tracheal tube. So typically, what you'll do, you'll uh, if you're going to tape to the cheek, uh, also grab your endotracheal tube tape, pull what looks like would go across the face once, and rip that. Now that you've got that ripped, you'll take and split that down the middle about halfway down, and then take and uh, flag, uh, flag those, fold them over so that it doesn't stick to itself and then you can set those aside. Do the same thing to another strip of tape. Split it down the middle. About halfway. Fold the tips of those over. Set that aside. And then you can have a third piece that will serve as our pretty piece. Now I know that uh, what will happen, uh, this tape's not going to stick very well to this mannequin just because of the way that it's made, but we'll do the best we can. So you want to take your first one and then you decide if you're going to go to right, center, or to the left. I'll put this on the left hand side. So you'll notice they do have mastazole stuff. It's a little tincture that you can put on to make the skin stickier, but because this is a fairly expensive mannequin, I'm not going to put anything like that on this particular mannequin. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and where the, the V of the tape is, I'm going to put that right where I want the tube. So I'm going to secure the tape to the cheek. Uh, a couple of different thoughts on this. You can uh, take and wrap the bottom part around and place this here, or you can put the top on there. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to place this across the top of the lip, and again that tape doesn't stick to this mannequin at all. But then I'm going to take an in the V so that I'm snug to the tape, going to go ahead and begin to wrap around that endotracheal tube. If you want to, you can kind of spiral up a little bit, but do keep in mind you're going to need to be able to see uh, where the tube is at. And on a real person, a real patient, this top piece is going to stick to that top lip very well, a lot better than it does to this mannequin. Take your other strip, and again, you want the V to be at the tube. So what I'll do to make sure that this doesn't cut into the nares, I'll take and fold that down. Go ahead and affix and make sure that pilot line is out of the way. Go ahead and affix that down, and then I can take and put the, other, the top piece around, and with this one, I can take, split it a little more if I need to, but I can take and wrap that around in the tracheal tube so that that endotracheal tube is nice and snug. And then with that pressed down, then you can take that longer piece that you stripped or your pretty piece. And again, I take and I fold that so that, so that the serrated edge of that doesn't cut into the, uh, the nares of the patient. Make sure that that's nice and snug. And that should be pretty, on a real patient, that's a pretty good means of doing it. And, and that tube's not going in or out in it because you've got it nice and tight, nice and snug to the, the V that you'd split. Uh, the whole purpose behind flagging the tape, like I had mentioned before, was so that um, when it's time to retape it or it's time to extubate them and you need to undo your tape, then ultimately what I can do here is just grab that flagged in And now I can take that strip, strip of tape off. And actually, for if you're going to use it again, I can set it aside and that can be used again so that we're not wasting so much tape. But then I can undo this side as well. And I still have two usable pieces of tape. Now, in the real world, you're not going to use the same tape over again. You should put fresh tape on, on a new patient. Uh, while we've got here, I'll take a break from taping. We'll utilize the uh, commercial tube holder. So what you'll do is make sure that you got one side locked in. 
there's are adhesive van, adhesive uh, strips right here so you'd peel those off i'm going to leave them on just so that we can use this and you'll notice right there there are four spikes six spikes excuse me some spikes that'll actually grip that in the tracheal tube and hang on to it uh, the luxury of this is i can take this and peel the adhesive pads off the back of this and affix that to the patient's face or their cheeks make sure the pilot tube's not caught in there and once that's a fix that's in place someone's going to be holding the tube for you but what i like to do is if i'm working by myself is just go ahead and get that position and this is going to have an adhesive strip over it to peel that off and then this is going to wrap around in the tracheal tube and you can pull it nice and tight and then this little piece here just clicks into place you probably heard that click so with those adhesive bandages that tube's not going anywhere but for extra security now take your head strap go around the back of the patient's head and then secure the other side so now that we're securing the other side you want to make sure that one that's not directly over the ears make sure it's not pulled too tight and that you can get at least two two finger widths up under it and that's nice and secure the cool thing about this is part of hospital policy is to prevent pressure sores from building up is now i can take and pinch these items together and I can move that tube to the other side, to the right side, to the left side, or back middle, and I can do that every few hours uh, as that's done. So that's how you would utilize the commercial tube holder. I'm gonna show you one more, uh, one more means of taping. Uh, this would be the primary method of how I learned how to tape into tracheal tubes, but we don't, won't tape them like this in like the neurointensive care unit or anything to that effect. But uh, one thing you'll do, you'll go ahead and take, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 inches of tape, rip it off, and then you're gonna take tongue depressor, make sure that you leave a little bit of the tongue depressor off. Now you're gonna take and fold that over twice. And then you'll pull off enough here, place this other strip, Place the other strip over your tape just like that. And then what I like to do, go ahead and take and run that underneath the neck. And then you can un unfold it. So what I'll, what I'll do sometimes to give me some tension on this, there'll be a bed rail here. Sometimes I'll take that and either bury that between there so that it holds tension or I might run the tape around the bed rail to hold it. And notice that piece that I put on is going to keep any adhesive from grabbing any of the uh, hair on the back of the neck. And now I can take and undo my uh, tongue depressor. Same stuff. Rip this down like you'd like. Flag those ends over. pilot tube out of the way make sure that you're securing securing the tube come over the top and you want to make sure that the tube is as close to it and if you need to you can pull this that direction a little bit so that the V is right there at the end of the tracheal tube go ahead and wrap that just like we did before. Now we'll take this, measure off what I need. I'll rip it. And then I wanna make sure that I split that to where the V is gonna be at the endotracheal tube. Split it, split it on down. Again, make sure this is out of your way take and secure that top piece go back around the endotracheal tube now I'm going under the endotracheal tube some people will prefer to go over the endotracheal tube that'll be up to you 
you'll find out what works for you. Sometimes you get a little trumpet action where the tube will slide in and out, but that is a secure tube. It's not going anywhere. And then you can take again and rip off a long pretty piece, come over the top of your tape, and then it looks pretty good. Again, it would look better if this tape actually stuck where I put it uh, on this mannequin, but that's how we go about securing it in a tracheal tube.